In this video, we will discuss what is authentication rule in CPSOT switch and how to configure and use the authentication rules in association with routing groups and tariffs. In general terms, authentication rules make it possible for the system to recognize the call traffic from different color groups or gateways so that to route this traffic to required destinations and needed quality level and respectively charge the customers for the traffic. Before diving deeper into the real-life scenarios, let's discuss how traffic can be routed from callers to destinations using a simplified abstract model combining the elements depicted on the flowchart. So we have blue, yellow and green groups of callers in our model. The blue group is willing to make calls to red and purple destinations, which depicted respectively by pairs of blue circles and squares of different colors denoting destinations. Dotted arrow depicts a standard quality call and the whole arrow a high quality call. Yellow group of callers wish to make calls to purple destination with high quality of calls. And finally, green group wants to make calls of high quality to brown destination. The CPSOF switch task is to recognize to what group of callers the received traffic belongs to and to send and price traffic accordingly. This is done via authentication rules and association of the authentication rules with respective routing group and tariff. For instance, the authentication rule set to recognize the traffic of blue callers is associated with routing groups and tariff to send traffic to red destination and standard quality and standard price and to purple destination at high quality and high price. In our model, the switch has two authentication rules set to recognize traffic of blue and yellow groups of colors. When the traffic comes from blue group of colors, switch is set to send this traffic to red and purple destinations, and the green group traffic is to be sent to brown destination. Note that this switch configured so to send blue traffic to red destination at standard quality and this traffic is to be charged with standard price, which is set in respective tariff. The blue traffic to purple destination and the green traffic to brown destination is of high quality, so it is set to be charged at high price. Vendors are gateways serving to convert VoIP traffic to necessary formats of PSTN, GSM and other networks. Vendor 1 in our model has standard quality connection to red destination and high quality connection to purple destination. Vendor 2 has high quality connections to purple and brown destinations. Destinations are just different types of networks we are sending calls to. For instance, in real world, red destination can be a PSTN network of Chicago and purple destination a JSM network of Paris. Now let's have a look at the call path from the caller to destination. When blue calls red, the call is coming to the thought switch. There is an authentication rule to recognize the blue traffic. Also, the thought switch is set to send such traffic at standard quality to red destination, meaning that it will be sent through the connection of vendor 1. The caller will be charged standard price for this call. When green calls brown, the logic is the same. The call is authorized but sent via vendor 2, as this vendor has high quality connection to brown destination. If yellow calls to purple, the call will be rejected because the switch does not have respective authentication rule to authorize traffic from the yellow group. Now, when basic principles of call authentication, routing and pricing are clear, let's review a more realistic situation. Let's imagine that we have three customers. First is an IT company having its office center in Berlin. Second is a legal advisory company. And the third customer is an investment banking firm. Legal advisors and investment bankers are sharing the same office building with other tenants. The destinations our customers plan to call are PSTN Network of Kyiv, GSM Network of Ukraine and PSTN Paris. Each customer has its own needs, however. IT company wants to make standard quality calls to PSTN Kyiv and high quality calls to PSTN Paris. Investment banking customer is going to call PSTN Kyiv at standard quality and GSM Ukraine at high quality. And finally, legal advisory firm is going to call all of three destinations, but it wants their board to make calls at high quality. 
At the same time, they decided that standard quality calls for their call center would be just enough. Please proceed to part 2 of this video tutorial where we will discuss how to set up the switch to meet the needs of these three customers.